Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy, sorry, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. That's right, I'm the Series JG. Uh, I have to admit, I've done a bit of off-screening since the last time I played. I just kind of got past the next bit of plot so that I could, uh, had a few evenings where I was going to, you know, just kind of hang out, have an adult, adult beverage or two, not record. So I decided to grind on this while watching stuff. Um... So we'll be jumping around a bit, but we need to get past the next bit of story. But I wanted to read this first. This is the loading text for where we are. We were comrades once in Rocky Crag. A mobile weapon ran out of control. Hope and I fought it once before when we journeyed together through the gap for Whitewood. Hope, you remember, don't you? You were so frustrated with your own weakness and so angry over losing your mother. I lent you the knife that Sarah had given me as a gift. It wasn't so that you would have a weapon. I just knew I couldn't let anything happen to you as long as you carried the knife. I wanted to be sure that I would protect you. That hasn't changed even now, with so many emotions lost to me. Hope, do you remember those days? How we stood together, shoulder and shoulder, against our foes? He seems to remember it more than Lightning does. Like, these little text breaks between missions seem to carry a lot more of Lightning's inner thoughts and emotion than we sense when she talks to anyone. She doesn't really seem, like, she seems really kind of, I don't know if it's bored or disinterested when Hope talks, and Hope also sounds oddly robotic, but there's a, he, there's a greater sense that he remembers them traveling together um, than vice versa. If you'll recall, Final Fantasy XIII, like, we had different combinations of the party at different times, but what I remember is... Early on, we had uh, a little stretch of Lightning and Zaz together. And then we would have individual chapters for just for random reasons. Vanille was paired up with Hope and blah, blah. But eventually, the story broke into following two groups. Snow got sidetracked from the main story and disappeared for a while and eventually returned along with a bunch of revolutionaries fighting against the... Um, uh, what are they, the Sanctum, whoever the evil government troops were for that game uh, and Fang didn't get dropped into the story until a little later so we had a stretch where the story went back and forth between um, Zaz and Vanille which was kind of my favorite because Zaz was just like really bummed out about losing his kid and kind of saddled with Vanille where really it was like he had to flee from the government troops to save himself and he kind of had this little, you know, preteen or teenage girl that he just sort of felt like he was an adult and he felt obligated to take care of her and try to make sure she was safe. But he was also in a really dark place where he, like, he didn't know what he was doing. And then by contrast, you had Lightning paired up with Hope, where Lightning just didn't really seem to give a fuck about Hope. Um, she kind of vaguely is like, well, she's not a bad person, so she doesn't want anything bad to happen to Hope, but it's like... Kid, you gotta toughen up. I'm on a mission to, like, avenge my sister here. I, I basically decided I'm gonna fucking murder everyone, so, um, if you wanna hang with me, you gotta hang. It just makes this amusing to me to read. Anyway. I wouldn't recommend hanging around too long. Oh, we turned down the sound on the TV. So, I don't really care how well we do with any of the stuff we're doing right now, on account of, uh,. we're going to be loading and and whatever ex exact rewards we get from battle and the like are not going to matter for a while it is because of our wishes that you are here it is because you are strong oh, the chaos that surrounds so you that is. treasure chest that we can get it later we don't need to be trying to get it now chaos it's not like i could forget my memory's excellent. Yeah, do you remember we were in Gap or Whitewood? That's been on my mind, man. According to the narration time, text. There is something you have to tell you. You need to know who we are. What we are. We're a bunch of really bored teenage girls. <laughs> this is from the unseen realm. Uh huh. Right, what's going on? Respond! Communication with light has ceased. Send out an investigation immediately. We 
destroyed the world. Well, what'd you do that for? You're the source of the original chaos. Just she's still smoky McNipples. The nipples. chaos that burst from the unseen realm. You lived countless different lives. Born over and over, each time with a new soul. Yep. That's us. We live and see Caius again. With each death, our prayers grew more desperate. Sound is layer skipping, and I'm not sure why it's annoying me. Made them collapse into a single dark mass. Once the unseen chaos was created, it. it could not be stopped. It reached out and dragged you into the other realm. It broke the dam that the goddess had built. That's unfortunate. It shattered the boundaries between worlds. Well, you seem angry, but it's also you're saying it's so, your fault somehow. This all began because you couldn't let go of Caius. <sighs> this is the one of the steepest turns I've ever heard the story take. But... Out of your need. You're basically like a petulant teenage yes. girl whose teenage me. girl crush destroyed the world. The fear of being alone consumed me. I mean, you can understand that, but. It became monstrous. It is the unseen chaos. The strands of our minds woven together. Mm -hmm. We are one and the same. We are the ones who yearn to be with him. We are the ones who give him life when he cries for death. Give him death when he cries for we life. We are also the ones who pray that he finds peace at last. We are a contradiction that cannot be resolved. Yeah, every fucking teenager thinks they're the most complex, unique individual who's ever been. I mean, as somebody who was a teenager once, I knew this to be true. Um, if you're a teenager watching this, you're, like, what you're going through, it's a real thing. It's tough. Good luck with it. The world and its history doesn't revolve around you. And the chaos is our love for him. This is like some real Padme Anakin level shit here. If you are suffering as I am, please let me know. I wish I'd never been born. <laughs> anyway, here's the platforms you to jump on. Hope, listen carefully. This I is a bunch of crap, and I'm tired of it. The, <laughs> the souls of all the Yules, they've been together like a cancer. Fuck. They are the unseen chaos. The souls of Yule, the dirt. That doesn't even make sense. This is stupid. Yes. Before they could grow old, their feelings and thoughts became part I of the chaos. Made it need to slow it down. Happens. They're bending it to their will, and if it's released, it'll destroy everything you're trying to do. So we need to kill you, all right? I do not wish to. Be yeah, it's murder you. All. But if you were there, can you try calling out to her? See if you can stop her. I don't know how much luck I'll have. Even she doesn't seem to have full control. If we want to keep this chaos in check, the only way might be to do what she wants. And what you want more than anything is for Caius to be saved. Okay, so murder Caius. Because saving him involves him dying and being rewarded in New Boon of Elza world, so I guess we gotta kill Caius. We can do that. Element level two. All right, well. We're being vaguely set up with a reason to fight Caius. So that is where all this is going. Hold on one second, I need to check the time uh, that we started this recording. And, okay. Yeah, we don't really have a particularly strong reason to go after Caius now. Other than the fact that he's kind of a jerk and we want revenge on him, but we probably should have something better. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal a little secret here. When I off screened this, I crushed him. Five stars. He barely got a chance to attack. Because I just spammed uh, our best techniques and uh, I'm trying to what I'm getting at is like a after I did that, I was like Huh, when I do this on screen, maybe I shouldn't do this. Because I, I did the whole uh, Chrono whatever. Um, the EP ability where you... Uh, not Chronostasis, but the one where you... Slow down time in battle, so you can just like pa like constantly use techniques and not use ATB for a certain amount of time. Um, 
Chrono Boost or whatever. Like, I did that with all my best techniques. Um, just crushed them. Uh, because, as with a lot of the boss fights in this game, it's not that the bosses necessarily have a ton of life, uh, but they can have really powerful attacks, and it can be difficult to find openings to attack if you're not dealing the right amount of damage. So, Overclock, that's what it is. I was using Overclock a lot and just crushing him, so... I kind of want to give him some chance to attack here. Um, I don't know. But, uh... Alternative snow tracks and transforms any equipped heavy slash into the powerful... No, I don't want to delete. I wanted to, uh... Yeah. So I have discovered that there's a little problem with this setup. So Artemis Arrows can be really powerful. Uh, but Brave Thief, which, uh, you can steal Bravery, Haste, and stuff, doesn't work with it. So off-screen, there were certain enemies, like, uh... In my off-screening, I hunted Chocobo Eaters and Earth Eaters to extinction. And the main way, one of the main ways I was doing that is by ditching this outfit and getting a different outfit, but using heavy, heavy attacks with uh, the Warrior Hunter's Mask or a similar item. Uh, because enemies that buff themselves, you can steal that. Yeah, it's useful. Um... So if I wanted to do that, I'd have to get rid of Soldier of Peace. And there's various things I could replace it with, but... Probably I'd want something with really high attack. I think I might have used Velvet Bouncer, 1831. Or did I use... I might use Primavera. And then Red Mage has actually pretty high stats. Oh, but it's got Light Slash. Yeah, it's got too much shit. Uh, too many slots are tied up with things that I wouldn't want. It's a Cyber Jumpsuit. Would give me Dispel. Physical Magical Resistance. Primavera gives me better attack, though. Because Strength plus 80 and Strength plus 10%. And I think this is actually what I was using in a lot of my off-screening. Because this is giving me Brave Thief. And instead of... So what I'm losing by using this is... Uh, is I'm losing, um, what do you call it, um, Artemis Arrows, and instead getting Heavy Slash, which will do a lot of extra damage when... It'll do extra damage to an enemy. No, it won't do extra damage. Sorry. It'll steal Haste and Brave and Faith if they set that up. The other thing I, I have to remember is that I can also do... Oh, never mind. This might be better. Hard hitter increases chance of making an enemy recoil upon attacking. Let's figure out when is the best time to. Do I want to maybe do. No, I think that's actually a setup that I like. De brave, de shell, de faith. Let's give this a try. I might end up using a lot of healing items, though, because I'm going to try to give him time to be alive using his attacks. In this dying world, nothing is more precious than time. Why do you waste it on me? It's not wasted, Caius. You're my Does friend. My victory still sting. 
Do you seek vindication? Yeah, probably. It's part of it. I'm not here to fight you. That won't wipe out the past. Okay. So you're here as the savior to offer me salvation. He is very snotty. It's for Yule's sake. She asked me. I refuse. I refuse. I'm not asking for permission. He's Android 16. The chaos here needs to be brought under control. I'm gonna do what Yule asks. With my giant purple phallic symbol here. He's hostile. You think you know what she wants. Even if one you will praise for my salvation, another demands the opposite. It's really tough to date her. Very well. Do your best, hunter of souls. Clean the evil from me and save me if you can. You almost don't seem to think I can do this. I'm Smoky McNipples. Smoky Nipples, whatever I said, but was. Smoky if you Chesterson. Wish to have my soul. I do, it'll give me a whole lot of maximum HP, magic, maybe an extra EP point. Alright, Soul Taker. Starring Joe Estevez as Lightning. No more destiny, no more fate. Let's end this once and for all. I'm not close enough to for that. I will overclock once, because this is trying to stagger here. And you can see how... Oh, I, I did manage to get him staggered there. And that's with me blocking, which is a little frustrating. Go ahead and use Refresher. Steal Faith. Sadly, I don't get to steal the rest of his stuff, but... Yeah, see, like, if you're not... As soon as he hits you, you're... You're boned. With a lot of this stuff. Now I stole faith from him, so that's useful. Or haste. Now I've stolen faith. Sadly, he's got protect up. I guess without a perfect block, you just die to that. Because this is me with my best defensive garb. It's defending... I don't remember if it's magical or physical it defends. But yeah, he just freaking kills you. Which is a bit annoying. Obviously. Okay, as a Ravager, you're supposed to be doing spells. Oh, he's gathering energy. I want to be hitting him. Alright, so it, we used like two healing items. But it lasted two minutes. I, I'm telling you guys, I beat him off screen in less than a minute by just spamming away with uh, Overclock. And when he was in um, Commando instead of Ravager, this is this can be one of the toughest fights of the game. But I mean, I'm going in with high stats and good gear. Uh, and if you Overclock stuff while he's a Commando, 
You're absolutely wailing on him with like heavy slash and stuff using overclock. That staggers him. And you use overclock again, so you keep wailing on him during the stagger period. You can kill him before he gets anything off. And there, I couldn't bring myself to just... That Mega Flare was so freaking devastating. I just couldn't bring myself to keep not using heat, like to just take it and use healing items. So I did overclock at least the one time there. But um, yeah, this battle, this it would have been very difficult to go beat him first and then go after Noel and Snow. Let's put it that way. But you get 5 EP back, which means I finished this battle. I went in with 8 EP. I didn't come out with full EP after fighting him. But I didn't use any healing items in my off-screen. And I didn't get any items either. Except for one that we're going to pick up as a matter of just plot course here. You are the hunter of souls. But you cannot claim mine. Behold. I am a soulless jerk. Stab himself for what's going on here. Oh, he's trying to show us that he just keeps being reborn with chaos power. Even if one Yule desires my salvation, another demands my rebirth. Like I said, they're impossible to date. With each death and life, Yule's soul was splintered anew. The divided fragments melting into the ocean of chaos. It was really emo. She is one and many. A contradiction. Mm -hmm. When Yule pleads for my salvation, she speaks the truth. But at the same time, Yule cannot let me go. She must keep me here. So Yule is never gonna let you go. Yeah, he's explained that, she and is so is she. Child. Uh-huh. Yeah, she is. It's weird that he's so into her. After, especially when she is doomed to stay alone in the chaos. Yule is the unseen chaos. The chaos will consume any world that he touches. There has always been something creepy about Ka Caius's fascination with Yule. Her power is too great. Even if she wishes no harm. The very existence of the chaos must distort and warp reality. I mean, him saying she is but a child. It would be fine, in a sense, if it was just she had this weird fascination with him and he never seemed to reciprocate. But no, there's all sorts of weird ass hints in Final Fantasy 13 2 that he reciprocates. There's something really creepy about this. So tell me, Savior, in the world that God is building, can you? Welcome her with open arms. Oh, I can, but I guess it's not my call. No, you cannot. It is a new future, and there is no place for her in it. Well, you just answered you for me. Here. The chaos is where we belong. That's your plan? You'll stay here with Yule and be destroyed along with the world. Yeah, I'd say let him do it. It's I am their an call. empty shell. My soul is rotted away. I shall cast this body into the chaos. I cool. shall be the shepherd of all the souls. Destined to wander the darkness, never to be reborn in the new world. Well, how are you shepherding them you if you're just to atone for being what you dead? Did? Do you think you can wash away the sin of destroying a world? I already have. Get out. I'm so much better than you. <sighs> Yule. Hi. I'm a different Yule, you by the way. You want to be with Caius. You to get out of here. Stay. If you don't want salvation, I can do nothing. But didn't Snow not want salvation and you kind of force it on him? Now leave us, I guess he eventually decided he wanted salvation. Everything bad that's happened is clearly on you, not on us. <laughs> Hi, I'm evil. They really build it up like you shouldn't have come here, and you don't. Oh, is that the one that's into Noel?
Whatever. There's a lot of looking at your hands now, going right? on here. Why time was distorted? Why the world fell apart? Why you got dragged into Valhalla? It was all because of the power of the unseen chaos. And the chaos came from that girl, reborn and splintered, generation after generation. Well, that's obvious, Lumina. So, Everyone understands that. It's under control for now. But the chaos could burst out again any time. Yeah, we need so to build a dam. One after all, do you think you can live with that? I can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. The first step is to want help, Lumina. We can hold an intervention for you, but we need that. Anyway, Wildlands main quest complete. Despite everything they do to make it feel like you're not supposed, like you don't belong here, you shouldn't be doing this. This is a mistake. Don't do this. Yeah, it's still a main freaking quest. I, I hate it when the story writes you into position. Where it's like questioning your actions, which you are basically forced into. We don't really have the option at the beginning of this quest line, or when we, you know, we first enter and Chaos Kid Caius is like, "You do not belong here. Leave this place." Like we can't say, "Hope, we're gonna get out of here. This is a waste of time. I'm gonna do side quests in Luxurian and use none and get as many people's souls as we can." <laughs> it's not how it works. Anyway, guys, we're essentially done with the main quest, but, you know, it's a little bit a little bit more story type stuff to shake out. But I'm going to call it a video a little bit early, and when we come back next time, we will finish the quest. And there's another kind of main-ish quest to be done. I don't know the right way to, to, to trigger it exactly, other than fighting a bunch of Chocobo Eaters. Maybe I'll fight one or two of them on screen. But uh, we've got um, a quest for Canopus Farms to wrap up, which... Is almost like a quasi uh, main story required quest, but it's 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 not required. It it built our characters, excuse me, that we do meet in these mandatory quests, but it's not required. But we'll be doing some more, a little bit more stuff in the Wildlands next time, and uh, then we're yeah we're well and truly be into just doing side quests um, mode. There are uh, two super bosses. Um, Without getting like special uh, special gear to prepare myself or, or checking out uh, posted online strategies, I one of the uh, optional super bosses is just available as a battle. You don't have to do anything to set it up. They just start appearing. Um, they're not available in the first few days. I, I, I checked it out. It, it crushed me. Um, so we'll eventually be trying to figure out if we can take out the super bosses. But um, some of that stuff really is intended for a second run of the game. And I don't know. If, if anything, it's like just unbeatable on your first run. I don't think we'll be beating it. But I can at least showcase it. So we'll be back next time to wrap up a few loose ends in the Wildlands. See you then.